Good day, good day. How the hunk are you? Welcome to Roverland. Hey, it's another unboxing day. That's right. <laughs> Usually I do that on Saturday. Unboxing Saturdays. Uh, eBay, let's just cut this open and see what we've got. Uh, nice, neat packaging there. They uh, use the uh, postal box inside, but use a plastic bag outside. That's pretty cool. All right. Now this one is kind of tough because it's got a... Uh, sticky one-time sticky I like to save these boxes because these aren't too bad for uh, mailing uh, things oh my goodness look at these unique uh, little uh, <laughs> bushy pads oh and this is what I thought it was oh I'm gonna have little bubble dots all over the place these things are unique all right so the story is I had to buy some more of these uh, I did an uh, uh, model review on these and I had a great response so I said I'm gonna have to get buy some more bite the bullet go to the second market because uh, my friend Matt over at wheel collectors he set me up with the first one and I knew I wouldn't get any if I but if I didn't go on the uh, secret market so I bet the bullet just for you guys I bit the bullet and uh, oh those peanuts are all over the place there's static electricity all over the place so here it is. This is what I got. I had to get some more because I got to look at it closer. That's right. So the one that Matt sent me, I uh, put back in the box and back in the protector and everything. But these, we are going to take a look at. That's right. We are going to take a deep, in-depth look. I bought them off eBay. Paid about $3 a piece. I, I think that that's a crime, but <laughs> what are you going to do? What are you going to do? Oh, these, these little balls are kind of neat, but man, they are going to get all over the place. Yeah, the housekeeper's going to be really mad. Yeah, that a AKA me. <laughs> all right. So there we go. This is what we're dealing with. I got four of them. Paid about three bucks a piece. Uh, that, I think uh, that kind of includes the shipping price because I hate paying for shipping. But anyway, this is the exciting part right here. This is it. So I got one of these from Matt uh, from Wheel Collectors. I'll, I'll tag that video uh, maybe up here or in the description or at the end. But check that out. I got a lot of views on that. And uh, that was exciting. People want to see. People want to hear what's going on with the new models that are coming out. And so uh, I want to too. So guess what? This one's going under the knife too. That's right. This is my quirky way of opening stuff so I can kind of preserve the uh, packaging as much as I can and stuff and uh, you know you put it back in there makes it look nice usually I like to use acetone on the back side loosen up the glue but uh, yeah this one's not going back in there that's for sure that's for sure so let's take another look at uh, this little bugger before we yeah take a deep Deep look. I've got something uh, special for you folks. Uh, like I say, I usually don't do this unless I have quite a few on board. But uh, this is a special one that I thought we needed to take a look at. Brand new for uh, 2019. So we're going to take a look at it. Um, yes, excellent detailing and stuff. So what I want to do on this channel is I want to show you everything and anything about this. So get ready because we're going to show, <laughs> I'm going to attempt to show you everything and anything. Now this is a live shot already. The uh, camera's acting up. So <laughs> we're going to get uh, right to it here. See if I can get in here and we're going to zoom in just a little bit so we can uh, see the uh, action. So uh, off camera here, I've got my trusty little drill. Yeah, it's a big Milwaukee. All right, I'm going to tell you something right now. I have uh, done Matchbox. They did an Evoke that's built like this, and I'm going to tell you right now, I really do believe that that back one is a plastic post. Yeah, so we're going to try that one first. I put it down on a towel there to try to keep it uh, from... Uh, can zoom in a little bit more. Keep it from scratching up the uh, paint job. Oh yeah, that's plastic. We're already down through there. Do you see how fast that was? Of course, I do have a sharp drill bit. And that was it. 
that's going to pop right off right there. So be careful, guys, if you're doing this, that this back piece is one whole piece, and it is the support post that keeps the model together. The front one, on the other hand, is going to be a little bit different story. That one, we're going to apply a little bit more pressure to it. Nice, even curls coming off of there. I like how that goes. Nice and easy. Not getting wild. Tap it off there, see how we're doing. Not too bad. Give it a little test, tug there, little test. All right, gonna get back at it again. Oh, I can't wait to see inside. Whoa, we're tick off right there. There we go. Tap her off again. There it is, right there. All right, ladies and gentlemen, we're gonna keep in on this close shot here because uh, it's coming apart take our trusty little screwdriver here and we're going to just uh, sneak in here and pry this apart. You got to be careful where you're prying of course and uh, don't want to damage any anything. Boy they, they are put together well aren't they? See if I can get my fingernail in there first so I don't scratch up. Oh there it goes right there. Beautiful job Dan. Oh beautiful job. All right here it goes. We're taking this apart first time for me first time for you there it is oh well let's uh, focus here folks yeah all right so basic uh body uh the ax uh chassis <laughs> i know what it is so it's got the three prongs holding down the axle so uh you're gonna have to snip those if you wanna or uh you can actually i've seen the guy uh used a cigarette lighter kind of warmed them up and bent them out so there you go there's the base all right here is the interior very nice so i was so excited on the first video i uh, could barely see but i could see through that uh top that it did have an interior you won't have to worry about those three prongs on the uh on the chassis because it does have uh axle holders on there but uh yeah big old hole in the front but not bad interior um, you know, it could have been nice to have a little bit more ribbing and stuff on the, uh, seats. Big, holy, big old honk and gear shifter there, yeah. The, uh, steering wheel is a little bit wanting, but when it's all one piece, you know, it doesn't fold together or snap. It's a pretty hardy, hardy piece. Boy, if you go to, uh, do any customizing with that thing, it's a pretty hardy piece. That's well built, I tell you that for sure, well built. But, uh, all right, so let's go on to, and oh, I picked up the rest of it and it fell apart because it, it, there isn't much to it. All right, so here we go. See, this is what I'm talking about. They did this with the Evoke, um, Matchbox did, is this is a transparent, uh, plastic window piece. And, you know, the, obviously the, uh, A, B, C, and the, the roof pillars are a little bit darker plastic but the rest the panasonic panoramic view roof there is there and then the windshield is a little bit less uh dense the back they just went full out black out there but then you can see that the uh construction post there is plastic that goes all the way through the the base of the body and uh chassis so this is the actual only other than the axles the only metal piece right here that's it right there isn't that something uh, hot wheels you are efficient that's for sure got some coating in there for uh you guys at the factory but uh yeah there you go not much to paint strip i've got a paint strip one of these probably going to be this one and uh put it in my bare metal i would like to someday kind of figure out how i can keep these decals on there but still strip off the paint without ruining the decals you know the headlights and tail lights and stuff like that but um yeah that'll that'll come in come in time so all right let's see if we can put this thing back together i hope you folks uh did all right now you see the front there had a little tab and a little uh post there that goes into the interior so what you have to do is you have to put that in in the top and then you see how the uh the side mirrors kind of hold it so it's a three point hold there and then this is the rivet there so uh pretty ingenious that way then you got the interior 
flip that over and flip that in. Slides right up in there like that. Pretty nice, pretty nice. And then the base just clips right on there. There's no uh, going in and tabbing and stuff like that. Um, and then if we did this kind of nicely, pretty much snap it back together and away she rolls. Yeah, there you go, there you go. All right, well, I just couldn't wait. I Like I said, uh, hopefully you guys uh, really appreciate uh, me going out on the limb here and I, I went and bought... <laughs> <laughs> bought some more so I could uh, take one apart because I'm so excited. You know, six, month, six months from now or so, I'll have hordes of these, I'm sure of it. But right now, they're, uh, you know, the second market. The uh, scalpers, as they say, they're really calling for premium prices. And uh, this was the best price they could pay. $3 isn't bad, but yeah, it's just, it's just unbelievable for a 94-cent car at Walmart. All right, there you go, folks. Hope you enjoyed this uh, exploded view of the uh, t brand new 2019 uh, Hot Wheels. It's the Land Rover Velar. Yes, there it is. Unbelievable. Make sure you comment below. Have you took one of these apart uh, yourself? Have you done any customs yet? Have you uh, swapped some wheels? Um, I just uh, flicked on the camera, opened a package, and I, oh, yeah, it's this one. Let's uh, take it apart. So, all right, there it is. All right, go out over there, get over there to Instagram and uh, share your photos at uh, Roverland Channel and also in Facebook at Roverland. I'll have those uh, down in the description. You can just uh, tag those and go over and visit those sites. All right, this is your friend Dano. Have a great rover day. And remember, slow traffic, keep right.